Hello guys, uh, welcome back. This is my boy again, Adam Slink. How are you guys doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. I hope you guys are doing okay. So let's talk about the VMAs. It's not an Africa award. And the reason why I'm even talking about it is, is because of one particular category. The Afrobeat category. And we saw a lot of beautiful artists there, Arista, Phil, so many of our Nigeria artists, Africa artists, uh, South Africa artists. And the most important thing that I actually witnessed is Tyler winning that Afrobeat award. Again, he won it at the Grammy. Now is, is, she's now winning it at the VMAs, which I'm happy, highly happy for Tyler because Tyler Evo admitted that she has more of Nigeria fans, more of Nigeria fans supporting her, buying her music than South Africa. She has even admitted it. Well, Tyler, you deserve it. Firstly, you deserve it too. Let's put that aside. You deserve it. But then again, Tyler is not an Afrobeat artist. Let's be honest. Afrobeat. Afrobeat is a uh, music generated from Nigeria. Nigeria. Combination of different sounds from all those uh, minor or uh, smaller jazz in Nigeria joined together to create Afrobeat that was headed by Fela Kuti. Miss Blessed Memory Rest in Peace. Headed by Fela Kuti. So anything that has to do with Afrobeat must be won by an African Nigeria artist. Yes. The same way South Africa told us, I'm a piano is not, is not Nigeria Jia. The same way. South Africa told us. And please, we are witnessing history now. Tyler is winning an Afrobeat award. A time will come, there may be an Amapiano award category. Please, South Africans, do not get mad. If Nigerians are winning Amapiano award category, do not get mad because you see Tyler is winning Afrobeat award. Come on, man. Afrobeat is so, so different from Ama Piano. You see the, the craziness, the gyration in Afrobeat. I think these award organizers, eh, whoever they think they are, they need to know the difference. And thank you very much to Tyler for that beautiful speech, you know? Head on the world just proves that African music can be pop music too. Yes. Like this is just so special, but also bittersweet because I know there's a tendency to group all African artists under Afrobeat. It's a thing and even though Afrobeat has run things and has opened so many doors for us, African music is so diverse. It's more than just Afrobeat. I... Do not put them in that box. That is exactly what Whiskey was saying and then we were abusing Whiskey. Say, oh, Whiskey is crazy. Whiskey is that. How dare him say it's not an Afrobeat artist. Then, Bonaboy said it. Then we went on to Bonaboy again and say, oh, who do you think you are? You are acting too big. Oh, you forgot all those kind of uh, things. It's because of this agenda from this award people who do not know nothing about music. Who knows nothing about music. This some setting, I don't know if they are business people, all those people running the music business who just want to just give uh, some kind of award to the people who they are signed funding money from, who they are using at uh, Labrat to generate money. They just want to compensate them with an award. We just decide to sit down to come up with uh, crazy categories. 
You are boxing Africa artists into one award, making them hate each other. Afrobeat. What is Afrobeat award? We have a pro pop. We have artists who are here who are singing crazy uh, different sounds. Okay, why not say Afro pop, Afro beat, Afro jazz, Afro R and B, Afro this? Don't you know Chris Brown? Uh, this song, uh, this popular song by Chris Brown that blew, uh, uh, blew the. The Globe, uh, as at last year, uh, is not sensational. The other song, uh, produced by, oh God, I, I forgot about it. That uh, very, very popular song on TikTok. Honestly, just, I just forgot about it. But if you guys know that song, that song was written by a Nigerian and produced by a Nigerian. We have so many crazy talents. Even Nigerian artists are afraid to even drop R.I.B. like music because they feel like they will not find a place in any category to win an award. So they must add a little bit of Afro, Afro, Afro in it. Come on, man. You better stop bossing us into one category. And like I've said before, all those awards are businessmen in the music industry. Who are using these artists as lab rats to generate money for themselves. Then they just decide, you know what, let us give these lab rats something they can just feel like they are special and award. <laughs> That's all. That's all. And then again, they say, okay, let us just make it like this. Let us, uh, at the Grammy, they say, okay, let us make it like, let us also make them feel special. We will in induce them into the Grammy to make them vote. That's why they will send some letter to some uh, old musician. Oh, you have been induced into the Grammy as a voter. All those things are crazy. For anybody who depend, any artist who depend on any award to be able to sing music, eh, you are on your own. Before, before, now with the career award for it. Now, honestly speaking, eh, I do not regard that ish. At all. I, now I see exactly why Whiskey do not uh, attend most music award. Man, if you allow a award to rule your life as a musician, you will go depressed. This girl was nominated a long star heavyweight like Arya Star, Thames, Whiskey, Bonaboy. All Nigeria artists, then boom, you just flush them out like that. Abba. All due respect to Tyler, I love her very well, but let's call a spade a spade. Tyler is not, is not an Afrobeat artist. Tyler is, I'm a piano artist. I'm a piano artist who do, who do R&B songs. So you might say, I'm a piano R&B, not Afrobeat. So it's not our fault anyway. It's those uh, music entertainers, those businessmen over there who want to make Nigeria artists fight themselves, who want to make Africa artists fight themselves. And when somebody like me is trying to explain to the other party that Tyler is not an Afrobeat artist, that person will think I'm eating on Tyler. And meanwhile, that is just the honest truth. The same way you guys will say, oh, you guys are not part of my piano. I do not take any offense from there. I don't. I say, yeah, you guys generated on my piano, but then again, we can make it even way better by singing it. But then the award should be for you. No wala. Then, Tyler, big up. You uh, kind of like uh, deserve it. Let's be honest. I was so happy to see Phils at that award yesterday, repping Nigeria. You know, you see the Abada make that uh, me feels where I be. Yes, that is the real culture of Africa. Real culture of Nigeria. You know, wearing it with pride. So much pride. And those beats and everything. Honestly, Phils, thank you very much. I was so, 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 so happy to see you in that outfit. Honestly, big up to you, brother. I really, really like what, what you did. But then again, I don't understand why other artists are not doing the same thing. In every award, wear your native outfit. Wear it with, 
with pride. We have so much designs over here. You see them like uh, like uh, uh, Arya Star. Wait till Arya Star wear. Eh? Just look at what she wore. Sister! Ta rapa. Rapa and gele. And that huge tie with your diamond necklace and your sweet uh, 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 wristwatch and wear that uh, that uh, nice Africa bag. Rock it with pride, Arya Star. At least for once. We know your style, but for once, rep Nigeria. You have never rep Nigeria one day, Arya Star, with your outfit. Never. I've never seen you. What you rep is likes of uh, Shakira, as at that time, likes of uh, Beyonce, likes of abroad. You just want to be abroad so... You, uh, you, you just want to be an American so bad. Arya Star. No. That, that I just want. I just hope eh, this moving around, moving that. Well, okay, let me not just uh, go that far. But Arya Star, your outfit wasn't that okay then. But, but feels big up to you, man, for rocking that Abada. You know, we we see you, brother, and we appreciate you, brother. And uh, then again, uh, I love what uh, Tyler did to Osha. When Osha was trying to dance with Tyler. And uh, Tyler immediately called Osha. Exactly. You did it for Africa. You did it for Africa, Tyler. I was so, so happy. I thought when the Osha was coming to you, trying to come to your back, you are just going to give Osha that your uh, small yansh. But uh, you immediately called him. <laughs> I was so, 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 so happy about that. Not everybody you can dance with Osha with it systematically. They do a break dance. They come decide. Chama, relax yourself. I was so happy when Tyler cover him. He cover once, cover him again. I uh, say, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Not everybody you can dance with. Eh? Not everybody you can dance with. Well, thank you guys for watching. It's your boy Adam Sling. Catch you next time. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed.